Hello everybody, how is it going? On behalf of Roman Technology, my name is Phil Begno. In today's video, I'm going to be having a follow-up to my Retina 5K iMac unboxing, where I'm actually going to be upgrading the memory. Now, why you might want to do it this way instead of just ordering it completely specced out with the high amount of memory, is just because Apple charges too much out of the box, in my opinion, for the RAM. For this exact machine to have it specced out at 32 gigabytes of RAM over the base price, will cost you an additional nearly $600. Nears makes no difference. Whereas if you buy it separately like I did, you'll spend half of that and do the simple upgrade yourself. Now with a lot of Apple, newer Apple technology, it makes it very hard to actually upgrade the RAM or impossible, but thank goodness they didn't take that route with this Retina 5K iMac. So what I'm gonna go ahead and be throwing in here today are two 16 gigabyte kits from Crucial. Now, like I said, two 16 gigabyte kits will give me a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is gonna be awesome in this thing. Now, I'll have a link in the video description to the RAM that I use, as well as to another website that sells the RAM called OWC. Both of them are very well known for their Mac memory. So if you go with either one, you're gonna be satisfied. All I know is when I was ordering it, this was a little bit cheaper, and being that I ordered this at the same time as this, you understand why I wanted to save a little bit of money. So that's enough rambling, I guess, for a little bit. Let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started with the upgrade, shall we? So upgrading the memory on this device is very simple. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn the computer off, and that should just be a given whenever you're working inside a machine. I've gone ahead and laid mine down on its face, and that's just to make it a little bit easier to access everything on the inside. But if you do this, make sure that you pad the area where you're gonna lay it down very well to where you can make sure that you don't mess up that wonderful looking display. Next thing you wanna do is remove the power cable from the back of the iMac, just by kind of working it out like so. Now inside of that hole, you'll see the place where the power cable goes, as well as a small button on top. Pushing down on that button will release, whoops, try to get you away where you can see that. Pushing down on the button will release the panel that's on top, like so, to where you can just kind of pull up on it and remove that panel. Now this panel will actually have some memory upgrade instructions on the back if you guys want to take a look at that. And what you'll be greeted with are your RAM, your RAM dims as well as two little kind of paddles. If you pull those paddles apart from each other, and pull toward and pull upwards, the RAM will come out to where you can have better access to it. At this point, you'll notice that two of the RAM slots in here are empty and two of them are populated. If you have this configuration, the two that are populated are both populated by four gigabyte sticks to give you a total of eight gigabytes. But we're gonna go ahead and pull those out. You might have to be a little bit forceful when you're pulling them out for the first time, but they should come out pretty straightforward. And at this point, we're gonna take out our new memory and start installing it inside. So here's the first 16 gigabyte kit. Now, when installing the memory, the one thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do is line up the notch on the RAM. I don't know if there's in focus a little better. The notch right there on the bottom, make sure that lines up with the notch on the inside of the slot and then just push down until it's all the way in and you hear a click, like so. And you just want to repeat that process for as many sticks of RAM as you have. Like I said, if you do this upgrade, if you want 32 gigabytes, you'll have four sticks. All right. Then we're gonna go ahead and open up our second package with our second 16 gigabytes. And we're just gonna keep repeating that process. Now once you have all four RAM DIMMs completely seated in, you're just gonna wanna replace that cover that we took off earlier. Actually, first you're gonna wanna push these down and make sure they're seated all the way in like so. Then you wanna replace that cover that we took off earlier onto the back of the machine starting with the top and then pushing the bottom down towards flush and then you want to replace the power cable 
and there we go. Now you just want to boot your machine up, pick it back up obviously, and boot it up and make sure that you have RAM visible. So now once your Mac is rebooted, to make sure that your RAM has been installed, just go up to the Apple at the top, hit about this Mac, and right here you'll see mine says that memory, 32 gigabytes, and if we go and hit the memory button right here, we'll get that again and we'll see that all four slots are populated by eight gigabyte modules. So that's how to upgrade your Retina 5K iMac up to its max amount of RAM, in this case, 32 gigabytes. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. It really helps me out. As well as follow me on all the social media left in the video description. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.